Man, get up here in the Zoloft to get your head right. Hi there, and welcome to the Zoloft. Reparations? Dang, we doing this again? Now, before anybody accuses me of repeating the same stuff, y'all bear in mind that it's liberal Democrats to keep bringing this stuff up. And we gotta have as much stamina repeating sanity as they do in repeating insanity. <laughs> now, let's see how this plays out, and we give the go-ahead for reparations. We gonna have a bunch of Rachel Dolezals and Sean Kings popping up, claiming to be black or have some black in them. And voila, white folks will get that nice financial boost to help keep them ahead in the economy, also covered by actual blacks seeking reparations. And these blacks will be the ones that help them do it. Once again, blacks will have given white Democrat voting liberals power. Because these white Democrat voting liberals are gonna be like, uh, I identify as black and I want my money. You can't say no. If they're white and they identify as black, well, that's their truth. You help these white Democrat voting loony liberals promote that goofiness in the culture. Black folks, the reason why it's been so difficult for you to get reparations is for a few reasons. One, you keep voting for the party that demanded the so-called right to enslave black folks and were easily suckered by these white devil Democrats when they said the parties and ideologies switched sides. You still want your 40 acres and a mule. Yet you vote for the party that denied 40 acres and a mule to black folks. Republican President Abraham Lincoln approved special field order number 15 submitted by General Sherman. That being 40 acres and a mule. Yeah, doggy, get. Ow. Lincoln gets assassinated by the Democrat, John Wilkes Booth. The Democrat, Andrew Johnson, assumes the presidency and revokes special field order number 15. No 40 acres, no mule. And here it is, black folks are voting for the party that denied them 40 acres and a mule. If you're owed reparations, well, it's the Democrat party that owes it to you. They even got to ask for their party symbol so you know where to go to collect. But I hope you don't think they're going to pay out of their pocket. No, no, they're going to be digging in the pockets of people who don't owe you. And to pay these reparations, y'all, it ain't going to help your children. It's going to add to their debt. It's going to add to everybody's children's debt. How you think these reparations gonna get paid for? After all these years, if reparations seekers would have put their minds to be more industrious, rather than putting their minds in collecting reparations, then by now you could have built an economy that would tower over whatever it is that you think you're owed in reparations. But I digress, y'all, because whatever it is that you think you're owed, you gonna end up seeing it as not being enough. Now let me add this, Republicans, y'all go about this all wrong. Because a lot of Republicans are white and have been put on the defensive for being white. And their typical response to reparations is to downplay reparations. And of course, get all defensive saying, we're not guilty for being white. Republicans need to reverse that and be like, you know what, you're darn right. You are owed reparations. So how about you stop voting for the party who's been the apartheid party in America and demand that they pay up. Make a petition for them to have to give up half their salary to allocate towards reparations. But however long y'all think it'll take to satisfy you. Yeah, Democrats just might slow down on bringing reparations up then. And while we're at it, we could demand that countries in Africa pay blacks back what they're owed. You know, for selling fellow blacks into slavery in the first place. Ah, <laughs> but black folks will get a big old middle finger from the motherland if they try that. <laughs> Mother, how could you? But these are some of the reasons why it's so hard for blacks to get reparations. Blacks were enslaved by other blacks in the first place, and you want white folks to pay your reparations. You're barking up the wrong tree, and I don't think you're going to find a country in Africa that's going to ante up. You claim that black folks was robbed of their history. The history, blood, and treasure of African countries has been plundered by other African tribes. But if you really want to insist that it was white folks who robbed you, then you really need to take that up with the Democrats. Tell them to put their money, their own money, where their mouth is and stop patronizing you for your votes to keep you brain chained. Now let me tell you why y'all pursuing reparations is a waste of time. You hate Republicans because Republicans don't agree with reparations the way you see it. We don't agree with it because you want it from the wrong people. Republicans sacrificed a lot of blood fighting to end slavery. That's like the most precious thing in act of love, y'all. And the black community has spit on the blood of those who fought and died for their freedom and instead votes for the party that fought to deny them freedom. But see, you want money and money means more to you than freedom. Even freedom bought with blood. You say you're not really free. Well, if you're among those who say that, you're right. Because you keep voting for the party that denied you freedom in the first place. And they keep you imprisoned with lies. That's why you don't feel free. Man, I really hope reparation seekers seek out my book instead. And I hope more conservatives that are listening will pick it up too. 
Because a lot of y'all could use some culture war coaching from a Christian conservative artist. Maybe if I were to be like, go get my book, you big dope, and share my videos. Maybe more conservatives would do it. To my black folks who have any love for the Lord, the word itself tells you that reparations aren't the answer. Reparations were paid to the Hebrews before they were led out of Egypt. The Hebrews were allowed to take the treasure of the Egyptians with them. Hebrews be like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think I'll take that and I'll take this. That's nice, man. You ain't gonna be needing this. Yeah, let me get to what you got over here, man. That's right. God made it to where the Hebrews can go ahead and get their loot on. And after them plagues, all the broken down Egyptians could do is be like, oh, here, yeah, sure. Take it, please. The Hebrews received reparations for their enslavement and left Egypt wealthy. But despite being freed from Egypt and leaving with the wealth of Egypt, they turned on Moses, the liberator. Like blacks turned on the Republicans, the liberators. And even with their freedom and the wealth of Egypt, they demanded to go back to Egypt as slaves so they can have free fish. Just like blacks turned on Republicans and went right back to the Democrats so they can get free cheese. And for the record, man, government cheese is some strangely good cheese because freedom wasn't what mattered. Free stuff mattered. You're idolizing a fantasy. You're seeking fulfillment in reparations. You have everything you need to succeed facilitated by God Almighty himself, but that's not enough for you. Instead of trusting in God, you put your trust in a party that lies to you because you think they can give you something better than freedom. If you really believe in black power, then you should be able to rebuild in spite of what it is that you think that white folks took from you. Man, even ants can rebuild when a creature that's a giant to them knocks over their hill. They don't go follow a creature and be like, yo, give our dirt back. Or should I say going to other creatures and blaming them for taking their dirt? No, these ants go to work. And we marvel at how these ants are able to rebuild that hill by the next freaking day. And too many blacks can't rebuild that hill because they keep voting for the ones who keep knocking it over. Get my book. Mother, how could you?